they put the lights on. Hey, what's up? How y'all doing? My name is Johnny. Oliver Tree is next. We're gonna play some music. Is that okay with you guys? <laughs> Fucking right. Let's have a good time then. Yeah? <laughs>
I was in the back trying to get my hair looking nice and pretty for y'all. So unfortunately, we have limited time. We've got time for one more song. Who the fuck wants to hear one more song? I need to go lay down. I'm down, but I'm down. 
He's got me so crooked he can eat corn on the cob through a picket fence. He's got one big dirty tooth that he calls Old Chomper. Introducing the man, the myth, the legend, Oliver Tree. Oh, yeah. 
cowboy right here. next song. It, whoa, 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 cut the fucking music. This guy's trying to play the fucking song. Why are you trying to sabotage the show, dude? I'm trying to have a special moment with the fans. Look, you guys want to hear a little story real quick before we start this thing? Yeah! Alright, this next song is about a near-death experience I had about six years ago. I was in a flight. I was leaving my mom's house over in the hills, and uh, I was flying out of Phoenix, and I am on this plane. And I'm going all the way to Canada. And I'm flying, and, and it gets to be a very turbulent flight, very shaky. And I've been on 
hundreds and hundreds of flights, but this was totally different. There's a thunderstorm and lightning was about, and we're flying through this thing, and it's shaking, it's shaking, I'm getting pretty scared, right? And out of nowhere, this fucking thing drops 50 feet, and I'm looking around, everyone's getting super tense. And then we maintain for a second, we're going. And out of nowhere, this thing just dropped 100 feet, and I look around, and the guy next to me is a pilot who's mid-transit, and this dude has sweat coming down his face. I am like, we are fucked right now. <laughs> so I'm looking around, and the lady on the right side of me, her head is in her lap. Her husband is sitting next to her. He's saying a prayer. There's two girls sitting in front of me. I can see them through this little hole in the seats. And they are crying hysterically. And I am freaking the fuck out. And I look over and the pilot is literally shaking. And we grab hands. And we're holding hands. And I'm like, this is it. I'm saying goodbye to my family. I'm saying goodbye to everything. This is about to be the end of my existence. Long story short, this thing ends up maintaining and we get down, eventually landing on the tarmac and we're rolling in. And I talked to this dude who's a pilot sitting next to me and I'm like, level with me, bro. How bad was that? And he said, it's a motherfucking miracle, man. <laughs> so without a further ado, this next song is called Miracle Man. <laughs> you know the word, scream it. <laughs> Yo.
I'm so grateful to have this last show ever in Arizona in my hometown with you guys. Thank you so fucking much. You know, a lot of people don't know this, but I lived right here in Phoenix until I was seven years old. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe that's a lot. Is this what you want? Then tell me what you need. Nothing goes for free. Please just tell me what you want. Yeah.